Fate is the endless chain of causation whereby things are. The reason or formula by which the world goes on. If melodiously piping flutes sprang from the olive, will you doubt that a knowledge of flute playing resided in the olive? And what if plain trees bore harps which gave forth rhythmical sounds? Clearly you would think in the same way that the art of music was possessed by plain trees. Why then, seeing that the universe gives birth to beings that are animate and wise, should it not be considered animate and wise in itself? Well-being is attained by little and little, and nevertheless is no little thing itself. We have two ears and one mouth, so we should listen more than we say. No evil is honorable, but death is honorable. Therefore, death is not evil. All things are parts of one single system, which is called nature. The individual life is good when it is in harmony with nature. Steal your sensibilities so that life shall hurt you as little as possible. No matter whether you claim a slave by purchase or capture, the title is bad. They who claim to own their fellow men look down into the pit and forget the justice that should rule the world. Happiness is a good flow of life. A bad feeling is a commotion of the mind, repugnant to reason and against nature. The end may be defined as life in accordance with nature, or in other words, in accordance with our own human nature, as well as that of the universe. All the good are friends of one another. Man conquers the world by conquering himself. When a dog is tied to a cart, if it wants to follow, it is pulled and follows, making its spontaneous act coincide with necessity. But if the dog does not follow, it will be compelled in any case. So it is with men too. Even if they don't want to, they will be compelled to follow what is destined. A friend is our alter ego. Nothing is more hostile to a firm grasp on knowledge than self-deception. He would stretch his arm out in from of his and show his open palm. And he would point to his hand and say, this is perception. Then he would slightly close his fingers just a little bit. So now he looks like Zeno with arthritis and he points to his hand now and says, this is a sin, you know, agreement or belief in something. Then he closes his fist tight and points to it and says, this is comprehension. Then he takes his other hand and grabs his fist, holding it closed and says, this is knowledge. 